Hello, friends. Happy Saturday to all of you. So, friends, I have important news today. If you are a monthly benefit recipient, you will want to know this information. Congress is working on increasing monthly benefit checks for millions of Americans, and SNAP recipients may see a $200 benefit boost very soon. My dear friends, please make sure to watch until the end of this video for all these details. Also, know that I'll be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, Please make sure you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. Who all worked really hard to bring forward this historic and momentous bill. We will look back on history and say this was a time when America really realized its responsibility to stay the leading economic and uh, national security power in the world. It's a very, very significant bill. It will have effects on our children and grandchildren, and we're very proud that we have moved forward. As you know, the Senate took a major step forward on, on the Chips and Science Bill. We're calling it the Chips and Science Bill, after many different names. <laughs> this is the final name. Um, uh, before the end of the week, it's a major step forward for our economic security, our national security, our supply chains, and, as I said, America's future. I, felt, I feel this bill so passionately. It's not one of those, these things that, you know, um, people uh, uh, immediately say, oh, yes, we must have that done. But it is something we must have done. And I want to be clear, the proposal we're passing this week contains the majority of the key science and innovation measures that the Senate passed last summer, making historic investments in scientific research and take direct aim at our nation. Even in a year when prices for just about everything are skyrocketing, the surging price of food stands out. In June, the federal government's Food at Home Index meaning food you buy at a grocery store or supermarket, has soared 12.2% from the previous year. According to the latest Consumer Price Index numbers, that was the biggest increase in 43 years. This year's spike in food prices makes a challenging environment even more challenging for millions of Americans who receive SNAP benefits. Although SNAP benefits are adjusted each year for inflation, the current fiscal year cost of living adjustment is based on 2021 prices, which were much lower than they are now. SNAP is administered by the U.S. Department of Agriculture to help low-income Americans purchase food. According to the USDA website, the agency adjusts SNAP maximum allotments, deductions, and income eligibility standards at the beginning of each fiscal year which runs from October 1st through July 1st. The changes are based in the cost of living or the amount of money needed to support a basic standard of living. For fiscal year 2022, the maximum SNAP allotment for almost all Americans ranges from $835 a month for a household of four to $1,504 a month for a household of eight, with $180 a month allotted for each additional member above eight. So my friends, do you think benefits should be increased? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Friends, the key word for this video is Apple Valley Lake. If you would like to enter the next Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you watch and comment on, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. With a vote of 220 to 207, the U.S. House of Representatives passed the Inflation Reduction Act. The vote marks the last step before President Biden's death for a bill that will allocate hundreds of billions of dollars over the next coming decade towards a fight against climate change reducing the cost of prescriptions, and cutting the deficit. The Inflation Reduction Act will also alter the U.S. tax codes 
treatment of big corporations, Senators Chuck Schumer and Joe Manchin surprised the country on July 27th when they released their massive social spending bill. Democratic Senator Kristen Sinema propelled the deal closer to the finish line when she announced she would support the bill after making a few changes. The Inflation Reduction Act is a far cry from some early Democratic ambitions, but marks a giant win for Biden and Democrats just a few months before November's midterm elections. Friends, I know that many of you are wondering what exactly the bill will do for the American people. The bill makes significant changes to the health care system. One key provision will allow Medicare to negotiate for prescription prices. Current law prohibits Medicare from intervening in the talks between prescription makers and health plan sponsors. The new rules would allow the government to weigh in to push down prices and save consumers billions of dollars. The Inflation Reduction Act also extends subsidies for health insurance costs that began in the 2010 Affordable Care Act for an additional three years. That provision comes with a price tag of about $64 billion. The subsidies had previously been extended in the American Rescue Plan and are currently set to expire this fall. Also friends, the centerpiece of the bill is a giant allocation towards climate change and energy efforts. Senator Chuck Schumer has noted repeatedly that this bill will be the largest action on climate change ever passed by Congress. The bill will also have provisions that would impact the energy industry more widely, including new rules around federal land sales that may lead to oil drilling. In total, the bill has many provisions that even the oil industry has gotten behind. Late in the process, Kristen Sinema secured an additional $5 billion in the bill to combat droughts around the country. A cherry on top for advocates of the package is that the bill will reduce the deficit by over $300 billion over the coming decade through a series of pay-fors. Senator Joe Manchin made deficit reduction a must-have portion of the bill to earn his support, and he noted, it is past time for America to begin paying down our $30 trillion national debt. So friends, what are your thoughts on this Inflation Reduction Act? Please let me know your thoughts on this bill in the comment section below. Well, my amazing and fabulous friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you friends for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate every single one of you who are watching or listening to my videos. Thank you everyone and have a wonderful and blessed Saturday. <laughs>